In this lesson, we're going to look at chromatography. Now, chromatography is a process we use to separate the different components of substances such as inks or food colorings. Now, these are examples of mixtures of different components called pigments. So, chromatography is a way of separating these different pigments from the ink or the food colouring. Now this particular type of chromatography is known as paper chromatography because we use filter paper in the process. So what do we do? Well we've got a piece of filter paper here. The first thing we're going to do is draw a pencil line. Okay, we're going to mark a pencil line and then on that pencil line we're going to mark little dots of the samples that we're going to test. So for example let's make a, a red dot here from the red pen and a green dot from the green pen. So next we're going to suspend the filter paper into the solvent. What you mustn't do is allow the dots to be immersed in the solvent otherwise the inks will run off into the solvent and the experiment won't work. So we've got to suspend the pencil line above the surface of the solvent like that and this can be water typically or ethanol. These are both examples of polar solvents. So once immersed the solvent will start to rise up the filter paper and as it does so it's going to carry with it the various pigments contained within the inks. Now the solvent on its own will travel further than any of the pigments in the ink. So let's mark the point to which the solvent rises on the paper. Now this is called the solvent front. Now what you will also see is that some of the pigments in the ink will travel further than others. Now the reason for this is that some compounds dissolve easier in the solvent than they actually bind to the paper. So you can imagine that the solvent wants to dissolve the pigments and take them with it and the paper wants to bind to the pigments and hold them back. So the pigments that dissolve easier in the solvent than they bind to the paper will travel furthest. So we can imagine for example in the case of the red ink well what will happen is there will be some sort of magenta like pigment here and then further up you'll find there's a, a yellow pigment whereas in the case of the green ink you might find a cyan type pigment here and then a bit further up a yellow pigment. So we can quantify this characteristic using something called the retardation factor or RF factor. And the RF factor is easy to calculate. It's the distance travelled from the pencil line by a pigment divided by the distance travelled by the solvent. So, for example, if we wanted to calculate the RF factor for the yellow pigment, then we measure this distance and we divide it by this distance. This is the distance travelled by the solvent on its own from the pencil line. Okay. So for example if the pigment distance were 3 centimetres and the solvent distance were say 6 centimetres then the RF value for the yellow pigment would be 3 centimetres divided by 6 centimetres which would be equal to 0 0.5. That's a unitless factor.